Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's start our today's lesson with the name of Allah, who is the most beneficent, the most merciful. May He succeed us in whatever we are doing. In input and output devices, today we will be talking about output devices. I am your teacher, Mehfa Nasir, and I welcome you all to today's video. Output devices, what are output devices specifically? The devices through which we can get processed data are called output devices. Remember, we were interacting with the computer using input devices and now the computer is interacting back to us using output devices. Output devices help computer to give information to the user. For example, speakers, printers, and monitors. These are the three most common output devices that we are going to study today. The first output device that we will be talking about is a monitor. A monitor is an output device that displays information to the user. Remember, here the output is displayed on the monitor screen. And this output displayed on the monitor is called the soft copy output. We have two basic types of monitors. Number first is the CRT display. CRT is for cathode ray tube. Cathode ray tube, tube display and second one is the LCD or liquid crystal display. On the left right now we have a CRT display and this one on the right is an LCD or liquid crystal display. A CRT monitor or a CRT display resembles an old television and it is very bulky as compared to the LCDs today. CRT monitors were the monitors that might have frequent display issues. The most important thing was the image result, the resolution was not very high and because of that the output quality, the image quality was not very good. At that time it was found okay but when we compare it with the monitors that are used now the lcd monitors the image quality has a very clear difference and therefore uh, crt monitors or crt displays are not very commonly used nowadays the most commonly used monitors nowadays are the lcds or the liquid crystal display an LCD or a liquid crystal display is a compact thin screen monitor. All the, compact, uh, all the contents are very compact, very solid and uh, encased on inside this thin screen monitor. LCD is very light in weight as compared to the CRTs, the cathode ray tubes, and it can be easily put on a shelf or even mounted on a wall. The next output device that we will be studying today is printer. Printer is an output device that gives information to the user in printed form. Monitor was displaying the output and now the printer is giving us the output or the information in printed form. The printed output from the printer is known as the hard copy. Now when comparing to the monitors thus that was the displayed output was called the soft copy whereas the printed output is known as the hard copy printers are of many types and among them laser printers give best quality printouts at fastest speed the next output device that we will be talking about is speakers now speakers uh, when we were giving input using microphone we were using microphone to give input in audio form so if we can interact with the computer in the form of audio the computer can also interact back to us in the form of audio so for computer to interact with the user in the form of audio it needs speakers speaker is an output device that gives output in the form of audio some computers especially laptops have built-in speakers but Due to their small sizes, the sound quality is not very good. Therefore, we have to use external speakers or hands-free or headsets, etc. So that we can get a good quality of audio output. 
so guys in input and output devices today we talked about output devices which were monitors printers and speakers good luck everyone don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel give your kind reviews and views and comments in the comment section below thank you so much have a nice day allah hafiz